If someone were to collapse right in front of you, would you know what to do? Some fifth graders in Rutherford County Schools can confidently say yes after today's CPR lesson. All it takes to reduce death from rates on sudden cardiac arrest is one simple hands-on class. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald shows us how. All right, guys. So today, what are we going to do here? CPR. CPR, exactly. It's a rite of passage in Rutherford County Schools. It's just two easy steps. In fifth grade, you learn how to save a life. They're able to do effective chest compressions even at age nine, so we just decided to start with that grade and... Always on the side. We've stuck with it. It's been a great program. This hands-on health lesson only involves hands. It's pushing down on that heart and it's squeezing all that blood out there. Hands-only CPR can be just as effective as conventional CPR. Push hard and fast in the center of the chest. You're Here at Smyrna Primary School, the nurse leads the lesson, which includes what exactly cardiac arrest does to the body. So a cardiac arrest is an electrical problem, like it says. On the gym floor. Okay, so everybody remember, get to the side of it, not on the end of it. Students got a mannequin and got to work. All right, let's go. Um, it's pressing hard. The kids learned if they push down to the beat of Baby Shark, they're doing it right. Or... You can also do this. Ah, 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 stand back, stand back. The vast majority of kids remember what to do and can jump into action. The same cannot be said always for adults. Get up on your knees, all the way up. There you go. Kids sometimes remain cool and level-headed in emergencies where adults tend to get a little bit more um, emotional. So that's why kids can just, they can just do what they learn and put it into practice. My, uh, my hand is hurting. Close to 1,000 people experience a sudden cardiac arrest every day. The hope is they'll be in good hands if one of these students is around. All right, is anybody tired? Yeah. In Smyrna, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Something I learned this year when elementary kids as young as second grade learn how to use an AED, so taking CPR one step further, when they learned how to use it, they were able to do so by and large successfully. So this really matters.